Super Middleweight Championship of the World, Mexico versus Puerto Rico, Saul Canelo Alvarez versus the chosen one, Edgar Berlanga. Fight fans, we've got a wild one for you today. You won't believe what just went down at the weigh-in between Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga. This was some real-life action-packed drama, like I'm talking WWE meets real boxing. The GOAT Canelo just shoved Berlanga midway in, and I swear, it looked like these two were about to brawl right there on the stage. But hold up, let me break it all down for you, piece by piece. Cause you know, we gotta analyze everything that just went down. There's a lot to discuss with this one, so let's just dive right in. Aight, so let's set the stage here real quick. We're in Las Vegas, and it's the final way in for what's already shaping up to be a blockbuster bout between Canelo and Berlanga. You got the cameras flashing, the fans hyped, and honestly, everyone expecting just another standard way in You know, a little bit of trash talk, but no. Not today. Canelo Alvarez stood on business. Hold on, sir. 166.8. Beautiful. Thank you. Now, Canelo, he's a seasoned pro. He's been in the ring with the best of the best, like Floyd Mayweather. So you can say the guy has seen it all when it comes to boxing. Canelo is not much for trash-talking. The guy usually keeps his cool until he doesn't. On the other side, Edgar Berlanga. Young, hungry, and definitely not one to back down from a challenge. He's been on a knockout spree, and he's been calling out the big dogs, including Canelo. And you know, the moment these two locked eyes, it was like someone threw gasoline on a fire. But it wasn't just the typical stare-down. Berlanga was talking. I mean, he was in Canelo's face, throwing verbal jabs. Berlanga was really trying to poke at Canelo's pride. The mind games have begun, but the young fighter crossed a line taking a dig at Canelo's family. Now, talk all you want about your opponent, but if you're gonna bring a guy's family into it, then be ready to face the consequences. And we're talking about Canelo here. This guy wasn't gonna let it slide. Canelo's wife and his daughter were in the front row of the weigh-in showing support. Now, it didn't take long for this wholesome moment to turn into a heated brawl. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to hear from both of our partners. We're going to hear from the... So what happened next? This is where things went from 0 to 100 real quick. Berlanga kept inching closer, pushing Canelo's buttons. And Canelo, who's usually the one to keep his cool in moments like this, just snapped after Edgar made a comment about Canelo's wife. Dude straight up shoved Berlanga. I'm talking a full-on, get out of my face type of shove that sent Edgar to the ground. Things got heated. Canelo was ready to take him on right there and then. You can't blame the guy. He's not gonna let any disrespect on his family slide. Canelo is gonna come out blazing on fight night. Edgar messed with the wrong guy, and something tells me he's either gonna have a long night or a very short night in the ring with Canelo. Let's break this down for a second, fam. 
Canelo Alvarez is 34 years old, a multi-division world champ, and arguably one of the greatest of this era. He's got 61 wins, 39 by knockout. This man is a certified killer in the ring. But Berlanga? He's 27 years old, undefeated, with 17 KOs out of 22 wins. And get this, his first 16 fights ended in first-round knockouts. So yeah, the hype is real around Berlanga, and that's why this fight has some serious heat. Why are you different from Munguia, from Caleb, from Golovkin, all these other opponents he's faced? One thing for sure is that I'm a puncher. One thing for sure, I, I have no respect for him, you know, in that ring. Number three, I'm not scared of him. Number four, I could box, bro. And people, ha people could say otherwise, but they're gonna see that Saturday night. That's why Saturday's coming, you know, that's why I gotta fight him. And I just gotta prove the whole world wrong. You know, I just gotta go in there and just shock the world, bro. That's all I gotta do, you know. The only thing now to do is like, no more talking, you know, about this or that. It's two days to the fight. I just gotta go out there and just be great for 36 minutes. For 36 minutes, I gotta be great. I gotta have that. And I got that down pack already. I gotta be on point for 36 minutes, literally locked in on this on, on this dude for 36 minutes, you know, and, and be the greatest version of myself. Berlanga has it out for everyone. This guy even took digs at Oscar De La Hoya, Canelo's former promoter. Berlanga wants smoke with everyone, and that's exactly how you're gonna make a name for yourself in this industry. At one point, you guys were cool, and he was trying to sign you, and him questioning also you uh, of how Puerto Rican you are. Yeah, he's crazy, bro. That's why I told him I'll smack him when I see him, cause, and he better have security, cause he is disrespectful. Like, he's just old, like, he's just so disrespectful, and we don't come from that cloth, you know what I'm saying? We never got disrespected by nobody, especially a person that like, we looked up to this dude, you know, he's, he's Mexican, but we looked up to him, he's a legend in the sport. For him to come and try to trash our event, and then cool, he got a, he got a hate a hate relationship with Canelo, but keep that on that side, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you don't got to jump rope on my <laughs> and then come on my side. Like, you was just trying to sign me a year ago, you know what I'm saying, a year and a half ago, you was just on my, my, my you feel me, on my tutu. <laughs> you was on my tutu <laughs> for like five hours trying mm -hmm. to sign me, you know, but shout out to, um, to Oscar, man. Good guy. Now knowing Oscar, he didn't waste a single second before responding to Edgar's call out. Edgar Berlanga, you stopped your press conference yesterday to mention my name. You said you're gonna slap me when you see me next. Why? Because I asked to see your Puerto Rican birth certificate? Because you're not really Puerto Rican? I'm asking because when I fought Trinidad, he had the entire island travel to Las Vegas to support him. Or are you upset because I said you're a subpar opponent for Canelo? These are the facts, bro. Don't let them get you rattled. Dude, you are not fighting me. You are distracted and better get locked in because Canelo's gonna tap that ass this weekend. Good luck and enjoy your first and last pay-per-view experience. But hey, do you think Berlanga is ready for a guy like Canelo? I mean, this ain't just another fight for him. This is the ultimate test. Canelo doesn't mess around. He puts guys to sleep. And he has promised to do the same with Edgar Berlanga. So eight, eight years ago, you opened this arena with a knockout. Can you do the same again Saturday night? I will. So thank can you give us a good you guys. Thank you, thank you, Robin. And that's the thing. Canelo doesn't just beat you physically, he breaks you mentally. You can come in with all the confidence in the world, but when Canelo is throwing those counter punches and body shots, you start to doubt yourself. That's what Berlanga's up against. Not to mention Canelo has been getting some extra work with Tefimo Lopez in the gym. That alone gives Canelo a lot of edge coming into this fight. But hey, let's not sleep on Berlanga either. The dude's got serious power, and he loves to push the pace. If Berlanga can somehow turn this into a brawl and catch Canelo with something early, he's got a shot. But that's a big if. Canelo's not easy to hit, and he's been in with stronger guys who couldn't land clean on him. What do you think about Berlanga's chin? Uh, I see in a couple times he, he have a struggle with that. 
we will see Saturday. Does it make you more confident? I always confident. confident. No, but less than eight rounds. Huh? I always confident, but I yes. Do you think it happens before eight rounds? Could be. Yeah. Why not? This is going to be a chess match early on. Canelo's going to do what he does best. Analyze, break down, and pick apart Berlanga. I'm thinking by round five or six, Berlanga's going to start feeling those body shots, and that's when Canelo's going to turn up the heat. Most pros have got Canelo winning this, but if Edgar somehow manages to pull off a victory, it'll be the biggest upset of the year. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.